Good morning, dear friends and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for listening to these meditations on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays of the week. And I pray that God will make it profitable and a blessing to you. And our today's meditation is taken from the book of Luke chapter 12, verses 1 to 12. I would like to read this passage. In the meantime, when there were gathered together an immutable multitude of people, in so much that they trod one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, First of all, beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever you have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have uh, spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed had the power to cast into hell. Yes, I say unto you, fear him. And are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten before God? But even the very heirs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say unto you, whomsoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that deny me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. And when they bring you unto the synagogue, to the synagogues, and uh, to magistrates and powers, take no thought how or what thing you shall answer, or what you shall say. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what you ought to say. This is the word of God. It is a very profitable thing. Now, the things men should fear, that is the main concern here in this passage. And many thousands of people gathered around Jesus. And uh, he addressed to two groups. First of all, is number one, the first message was to his disciples, verses one to three. And uh, the main thing there is a fear, hypocrisy. And so this message was given to the disciples. And what is the main message here? Deeds are to be exposed and words are to be exposed. And it is very important for us to understand what it really means. One of the greatest sin that Jesus Christ hated while he was here on earth was hypocrisy. And he always had conflict with the Pharisees and Sadducees. And now who are these groups? They 
are the uh, VIPs and VVIPs of uh, the Jewish groups. They were the religious leaders and everything there is a high priest and then his associate the priest next to in rank and then there, is, there are the Levites and all these people are included religious people under the leadership of the high priest and Jesus always had a problem with them and he and and he he, he hated their activities he even told his disciples once, you do what they are teaching, but do not practice what they do, because they do not practice what they teach. This is hypocrisy. I say one thing and does something and do something exactly the opposite of it. That is hypocrisy. This sin is prevalent today in many Christians and many leaders and many of the even uh, if I if I live my life contrary to what I teach and preach I would be one of the greatest hypocrites and so fear hypocrisy because that can lead us into the greatest condemnation and Jesus Christ always condemned severely these hypocrites so guard yourself and uh, deeds are to be exposed and words are to be exposed the words what do they teach and the deeds what do they practice and do and there has always been these conflicts with the Pharisees and Sadducees so Jesus gave the warning in verses 1 to 3 fear hypocrisy it is a serious sin and God bless you as you take note of and you begin to practice what Jesus has taught you are a disciple God's blessing be upon you Holy Spirit of God we need you we need the Spirit to enable us strengthen us and to, to live, a, live a life that is pleasing to our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, and God the Father, and God the Holy Spirit, that we may not be brought to the place of a condemnation. Thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Have a great day today.